I'm going to show you a key. Very simple. Winners of Australia. Hi, Swayi Dan. Do you want to make the intro? The sexy part of the evening. Plus, that you, Jess, but it's freaking hot. So, Granny, she's out of the evening. Take it out of the evening. Is our band. They're going to be on those things. Go ahead and have the rest of the show. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Yes. Hello. Hello, thank you, audience. Uh, yes, it's Friday night and we're very, very live. You can email us on the show at any point. The email is fnl at wtpperth.com.au. I almost stuffed it up that time. Yeah, good. That's good. Leave it up to you, Steph. Well, this week I went to a signing at the Rip Curl store with one of my favourite surfers and super, super hotty on right. Uh, he is so pretty. Look at look him. Look at that. Uh, you got to hug him, didn't you? I got to hug him and it yeah. was creepy. Yeah, did you, get his, did you get his autograph? Yes, I got his photo. autograph, but not his number, sadly. Uh, <laughs> not for lack of trying. One day. One day, one day. One day. Well, what did you get week, up to this week? I got all lethal weapon. I was like, Martin Reeks. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, good, good reference. <laughs> and I went to a shooting range for work. They took us down there and I got to shoot a revolver, bust some caps, bust some caps. into some paper. <laughs> And uh, yeah, got a few bullseyes, it was, and it was good fun. Very nice. And you also went to a party last week. Yes, yes, the Rainbow Party. Uh, that was Shell's birthday. Mm. <laughs> Happy birthday, Shell, again. Uh, yep. And uh, yeah, they served uh, rainbow drinks. They look lethal. Dressed. Yeah, you pretty much needed sunglasses <laughs> to go to the party. It was awesome fun. It was awesome very, fun. very nice. And we also had an interesting news story during the week. Mm -hmm. There was a poor gentleman who was walking home from Superfest. Mm -hmm. And fell into some mud. I uh, know. <laughs> and he was stuck there all night. Yeah. And he had to get winched out. So he's been at a festival all day and then he's walking home, finally trying to get home, and he falls in mud and stays there for several hours. Yeah. Yeah. So that'd be an interesting place to wake up, leading me to an awesome segue. <laughs> you can email us on the show. If you've, if you've woken up at a strange place in the morning, maybe under a palm tree in someone else's bed, uh, shoot us an email and tell us about it. Yeah, um, and speaking of emails, we got a very fun email during the week mm. that was referring to our performance and they wanted to know if they could see Jesse perform. Uh, so we have some exciting stuff for yay. Jesse coming up later, which he is very excited Wouldn't about. Wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> <laughs> yes, that'll be very fun. But uh, tonight we're trying something a little bit different. We've got a brand new way to communicate with Aaron and Rach down at Carnegie's. We're going to cross live to them. Right now, Aaron, how you going, mate? Hey guys, how are you? I'm down here at Carnegie's and I'm live. <laughs> no, it's usually both you and Rachel. Where is she now? You know where Rachel is, guys. I'm glad you can finally see it, though, because when I come down here, I work. Rachel's off uh, talking to some of the local pretty men. Ah, <laughs> uh, and uh, so how's Carnegie's? Is there any pretty girls around? Oh, there's heaps of girls around, heaps. And it, you would be amazed how many girls come and talk to you when you've got a microphone, which I appreciate. Uh, there's a lot of pretty guys, obviously, while Rachel isn't here, and pretty girls as well. Smart girls. I enjoy smart girls. On the way here, actually, there was a... Uh, I, I noticed something, Jesse and Rach, uh, or Jess, Jesse and Steffi, that uh, dresses are getting shorter. So um, I'm, I'm going to look deeper into that today. <laughs> Well, it sounds good, Aaron. We'll look forward to it. Uh, well, I've had a lot of uh, girls asking, Jesse. this question's to you. What's your type? Do you like short dresses or long dresses? Oh, man, you know, I'm happy with short. <laughs> Short's fantastic. Easy. Exactly. <laughs> I like, but, um, I like long dresses. To a brilliant start. <laughs> That's why I've for you. Oh, we'll long cross dresses back are a lot more comfortable. We'll cross <laughs> back to you later on. Thanks, Aaron. <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, to compose yourself, yes, once to compose you've been thinking of short dresses, we've completely lost Jessie. Yeah. We have a lovely Paloma here this week. How Hi, are you? I'm great, guys. How are you going? <laughs> Good. And I have uh, the wonderful, beautiful Jess Pinizzi here tonight. Oh. <laughs> She's just won this fantastic uh, GHD Harper's Bazaar competition. Um, Australia and New Zealand wide, tell us 
what happened? <laughs> Pretty much I entered a comp and you had to send in like three photographs of um, inspired people and so I sent in three photos for Australia and New Zealand so it was pretty sweet. So, and these are the photos here? Um, this is the competition when we went to Sydney for the uh, finals so there yeah. was the top three so it was Lewis who I work with and a chick that got nominated for um, so New this, Zealand. So there was two, the, the top, top three finalists, two came from the same salon in Perth which Lee is Lee Preston, Preston represents in, so. <laughs> in South Perth. So. And what is this fantastic grand prize? So pretty much I got to uh, do a photo shoot for Harper's Bazaar with Renya, which we happen to have. Oh. So you cut this hair? Yeah, I did this style. Which style? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so. you, don't, you don't call it a cut? No, you call it styling, yeah. So like we get to mould hair and have heaps of fun and play with it. And uh, yeah, it's awesome because you get to meet photographers, makeup artists, and you get to go on a little adventure and go to studios and stuff. So it, yeah, it's amazing. So and it's fun. Do you try a lot of this stuff like on yourself at home? Yes, yes. And I go to Bunnings to get inspiration. So yeah. Yeah, and fun. you actually have had a few uh, people take some photos of you yes. at Bunnings. A few yeah, times. the last time, like seven o'clock in the morning, some dude actually whipped out his iPhone and I was so embarrassed. So I was like, What oh. did you have on your head? I had, well, no, this was like in my car before I got in there and then I was like okay I really shouldn't be here and then when I'm walking down there the people just look at me like oh my god she's back. So <laughs> I just go to like the one in Leech Highway so it's like massive and I'm like Bruh. nice nice so, so you can catch her at Leech Highway bunny. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so, so what is the absolute grand prize? What's happening in September? So I get to go to New York or London Fashion Week so they haven't told me just yet where I'm going but Ooh. hopefully I'm fingers crossed New York. Somewhere you can touch Miranda Kerr. Yes touch Miranda <laughs> Kerr and just secretly. You get to touch Miranda Kerr. Yes we have some plenty more so I just oh. get to. <laughs> no 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 Pilly more girls. I mean, models. So. <laughs> All right. Oh, She's yeah. sounding pretty good. Yeah. I need to get to the best <laughs> That's actually fantastic because you're only six months out of your apprenticeship and yeah, it's only the so. second competition you've entered. Yeah, so, well, I love styling and I think, you know, it's amazing that you get to meet all these people and do crazy stuff with people's where hair. Do you, where do you get your inspiration? Like, where do you, how do you design a haircut? Uh, well, like, the way you kind of design it is you just, you got to use, like, the features of the model or whatever the, like, whatever the, um, the guide or the guidelines or whatever they've given you something like a, yeah. um, like a what do you call it, like a theme or something and then you kind of just roll with that. So, so what was the theme for the competition? So um, Julia Knight was the girl who won uh, the fashion part and so she came up with like a like a modern day sort of superwoman. So in my head I thought all right well you know to link with that I had like a superman so I had like a little kiss curl and then I had um, like modern day superwoman or superwoman for her was um, like a modern, like a um, president's wife. So oh, cool. yeah so I kind of came up with like this little shape where it's kind of yeah. all came together so I thought it looked quite cool so yeah. yeah. Well, no, the picture's <laughs> Obviously awesome. everyone else did as well. Yeah, so no, but it was pretty stressful. It was like seven girls backstage, four hours, and like I was having a ball because I was like in my element. I just love doing that. But yeah, it is stressful otherwise. Stressful. So yeah. awesome. Well, yeah. good luck in New York or London or right. wherever you end up. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, we'll cross back to Aaron at Carnegie's. Okay guys, I'm down here at Carnegie's. Now I've had a really uh, crazy week, it's been pretty short. On the way here I saw a lot of short people in short dresses. And I'm with some cool guys at Carnegie's, Andrew and Chris. How are you guys going? Yeah, good thanks. Yeah, really. Not too bad. That's, that's Chris, this is Andrew. Short weeks and short dresses and short girls, what do you guys think? Keeping things short. Um, I've had a short week, I uh, flew up here today from Sydney. I'm from New Zealand anyway, but... Short girls, short skirts, what can you say wrong? Nothing wrong with, I love short weeks and short skirts, that's what, what about you Chris, what do you love? I'm a short person so anything short is magic. Okay. But you're on TV, we could. We should have all ducked down and pretended you were the same size and then, you don't duck down, you're already short. And then we could have ducked, and who's cousin it over here? Uh, uh, what we'll do is we'll, Sometimes people don't like coming on, but we get them. What's your name? Cheryl. And what do you think of short dresses, Cheryl? Short what? Dresses. Short dresses. Um, good, so long as they're not a bit too short. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to cut this short because I promised Sharon I wouldn't interview her. These guys say so it was your fault. Take the blame. It was Chris and Nick. I'm going to blame both of you guys. And we'll be back later with some more people with some short dresses. Back to you in the studio. My question, Jesse, what do you think of short dresses? Mate, we've already covered that. I told you. He's all stuck about on them, them tonight. Now, now we have our musical guest for this evening, Danny <laughs> Stefanetti. How are you going? Good. How are you going? Very I'm well. very well. Very well. <laughs> Glorious. Uh, now you've got a music video. Yes, yeah, so I got a new one out. Uh, we did, we shot it a few months ago, mm -hmm. and um, we released it on iTunes, and now it's on Rage tomorrow morning. Actually. Oh, what time? At quarter past seven. Oh, very seven nice. So everyone catch yeah. um, Rage at quarter past seven. Yeah. And do you have some gigs coming up? Yeah, I have a few at the Indie Bar. 
coming up um, next uh, Wednesday night, actually. Oh, there it is. Oh, we have Check the music video. Oh, it's being you. recorded. You're on TV. Oh. Uh. Can't see that. <laughs> and, and your gigs at the Indie Bar? Yeah, next Wednesday night. And yep. I'm playing with Rob Jones from the Atlas Mountains. So oh, we're a bit nice. of a duo that night. So it should be good. So, yeah. well, That's very good. And we will leave you to do your thing now. Awesome. You. Here is Danny Stefanetti. <laughs> throughout the show at fnl at wtvperth.com.au and also later on during the show in this se segment in fact we've got jesse responding to an email and embarrassing himself which been is very looking exciting forward for me. to this one yes jesse <laughs> is excited <laughs> <laughs> now joining us this week we have the lovely ryan and mara how are you guys Hello. good I'm well how are you very very well oh, we're very well good. now what did you look at this week well, basically, I thought I'd take you guys out of, you know, the, the sceny world and into um, a bit of a movie review, per se. Ah. You know those gay people that show up in television shows and movies? We oh, not them. We <laughs> actually have our own <laughs> movies. Ah, yes, yeah. we do. Good um, on you. Very much like American Pie, one of these movies is called Another Gay Movie. Oh, and okay. it's quite funny. Um, <laughs> it's, it's its own little... Like a gay American pie. Yeah, yeah like yeah. a gay American pie. So take a look. It's quite quirky. <laughs> What's going on? I like guys. Ah, it is an what older, fun. It is an older ah. movie, but it's one of those classics. And um, something else is uh, one of my favourite movies, actually. Imagine yourself in a world of, um, of gay people. Yeah, judging, imagining. Judging imagining. you. Yeah. Judging you. Jesse, last week you came out to me being gay. Come yeah. out to me as a straight couple with Steph right now. Wow, Ryan. God, I'm so straight. Jesse. And we're 
<laughs> this is almost less it's convincing than the coming you out. You <laughs> so straight together. So straight. I'm so disappointed, Jessie. You could get her pregnant. Yep. I am judging you right now. And that's nah. what this movie is all about. Take a look. Ah. <laughs> Come on, be a little bit more interesting. Introducing <laughs> Brad. Taken back in time. Back to high school. Hey, step out of that car, let me see your ass. <laughs> back to normal. Reader. Oh, I don't want to be like this. Is it true? <laughs> None of us here want you or your kind around. That's who ah. you are, Jesse. So we're breeder. normal. You're I mean, breeder. yeah. we're breeders. We're okay. all breeders. Ooh. You're breeders. <laughs> Again, an old movie, but it is an absolute <laughs> classic, and you've got to see it. Wow, we'll have <laughs> to check it out. And Mara, what did you get up to this week? Um, well, this week I've been lucky enough to be sponsored by Amy Christie. She's a Ooh. fashion designer, so from now oh. on I'll be appearing in all kinds of wonderful outfits. <laughs> Looking um, smashing. Thank check you out very that dress. much. Yeah. Thank Ooh. you. <laughs> sort of like Sarah got Jessica Parker in a way, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, the opening scene. Well, she's going away back to Europe, so she's selling everything at the moment, and her <laughs> things are absolutely it's not amazing. An infomercial. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> uh, but I'm excited for it each week. Um, but yes, this week I embarrassed myself in front of a lot of people. Um, because oh, I got hypnotised on a stage. Ooh. Yep. What was that like? <laughs> uh, Do you remember it? I, he, yeah. I st <laughs> he said, oh, you'll be all like, you know, clear and happy and you f you'll feel like you had a full night's sleep and then just have the first drink after we finish and then you'll start remembering and that's what happened. I just started remembering so it. So it's the opposite of usual drinking. You remember <laughs> after you've <laughs> yes. <done>. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> have a drink and you'll remember. Yeah, and then, yeah. Yes. <laughs> And so what what kind of things did they put you well, through? Well, you go in, uh, through an induction where they're like, you know, get yeah. you to relax uh, physically. Yeah. I think you've got some vision yeah, as well, Yeah, let's have we? a look. Three, six, <laughs> eyes open, bend down there. And so you're just off to the left there, hey? Yes, you can't see me. Thank God. Oh. <laughs> what are they doing? They're making you, he's making this you play. Is, um, yeah, so we had to imagine we were in a symphony and everyone was playing an instrument. Um, okay, so obviously that is a violin player. And everyone's out, like everyone's got their eyes closed and they're like completely relaxed mentally and physically. But yet, they listen, we all listen to his voice and when he's ask, asking us to do it. Now everyone's a sheriff going into a village and sort of like <laughs> pretending they're on hold. This is me. That's me doing it. Oh, yep, no. that's right. And what was this? This was, ooh, pret yeah, uh, the person next to you smells. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so you had to pull Oh, and that was the monkey. Oh, that's me giving oh. the monkey. Oh, my God. The, the monkey was dying. Oh, no. So Mara you comes into the rescue. So you don't feel anything as, you, as you're getting put under. He just talks to you and you yeah, kind of fall you asleep. Yeah, you sort of like relax and you're like, okay, sleep. <laughs> That's it, oh. basically. You just fall down. But yeah, a lot of fun. Um, and Matthew Hale's um, already known for winning um, comedy shows with obviously hypnotising people on stage. And um, he's trained in Vegas and in London. So he's pretty good. Amazing guy. Yeah. Can we still see him? Yeah, you can see him. Um, he does private shows as well. So just like Google his name, Matthew Hale. Um, and he does every three months, he goes to the indie bar to, um, to, to, to do shows like that. Which no way. Is cool. Yeah. Well, speaking of embarrassing yourself, Jesse. <laughs> yeah, this is going to happen, isn't this it? This is going to happen. In order to embarrass Jesse, we have brought on a guitar and he's going to do right, some air guitaring for us. Some space. So we'll get some enjoy. space. Yeah. And what are we going to just do? Just as a show of support, and because we Look. all know how bad a dancer I am, we are going to dance in the background. Look at the trouble that they went to to actually embarrass me. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Now, uh, Rachel is down at Carnegie's. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Yes, well, I'm down at Carnegie's, and we're having a ball down here. I found a couple of guys to talk to, and yes, I have established.
smashed that their single already. Your names, boys? I'm um, Tristan. I had to think about it. Jamie. Jamie, now, you guys are single, and you, we were just having a conversation about uh, the talent around Perth at the moment, and you're saying there's a lack of the female species tonight out. In Carnegie's, there is a very much a lack of females out tonight. So would you like to do a call out to, you know, females to get down to Carnegie's tonight? Yeah, if you can come down, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it'll be good. But upstairs bar function room is not open yet, but when that opens up, it'd be great if you come down and dance up there for us. Do you have some good dance moves? I actually can do the sprinkler. The sprinkler, whoa, well, that's uh, that's going to make you a keeper. Now, guys, we were talking about uh, these girls behind us are your friends, so you said they're a no-go zone. Have you ever been with a girl that's been a friend and you've had to get it out of the friend zone, and how do you do it? Well, it's, it's a pretty difficult task, but when it comes to it and you feel like it's it's right to make the move, then you have to plant the seed probably a couple of a couple of weeks earlier and just get it ticking over in their mind. And then once they've started to think about it and you know they've started to think about it, then that's when you're going for your strike and you you know it's such an inception. It may well be inception. It may well be inception. But you just have to make sure that, you know, they're thinking the same as you are. And then once they are, then you can go on and you can sweet talk them and they'll respond to it. And if they don't, then you back off. And if they do, which most likely they do, then you go for it. Okay, I'm going to have to cut you off there because we have to go back to the studio. But you should write a book. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, good advice. But uh, back to you. Thank you, Rach. That is very good advice. <laughs> uh, now it's, it's time for Friday Night Love. Before we jump into it, we have an email from you guys. We answered a question the other week. All right. um, and he's just emailed back. Josh has emailed back. Dear Friday Night Love, thank you for your advice. Since my girlfriend has progressed in her new career at another, as an adult shop employee, we have become closer as a couple. Aww. Well, job well done. That's Bringing really people done. together. That's exciting. <laughs> Does it feel good to help people? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so there you go. You can email uh, any anything, any advice you'd like from the Friday Night Love boys and they'll help you. Just do no. it. Crazy. And to prove your experts once more, what Ooh. did you do this week? This week, uh, we are talking about wingman. Bit of this. <laughs> Bit of wingman this. high five. Bam. Oh, oh no. <laughs> we're, we're talking about wingman because because people in Perth don't know about, don't know how to do it. Guys, guys don't know how to do it. And I know what you're thinking. Selfish. Yes. Selfish. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I, was just, I was just selfish for the guys, but no, it's selfish. Um, it's selfish. But guys, yeah, they don't know what they're doing. So basically, we're breaking it down, uh, Doug and I. The definition of a wingman, it's a person that assists another person in gaining the attention or affections of a partner in particular. But their main job is to ensure that that happens and all other people around them are kind of are gone away. So they're a yeah. shepherding man as well. They're a shepherding man. Well, women yeah. are pack. Women are pack. They are, they're hunters, they, they they're, they're pack hunters, people. they stick together, uh, it's safety numbers mm, for them. It's safety really numbers for them. carry around net. Yeah, yeah. especially in Northridge with the way things go there. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, but so basically we're breaking it down, there's three type of wingmen. Uh, this yeah. is what Doug and I have come up with. First, the dick man. All right. Now the dick man. Mm. Is that you know, a technical he's, term? Colin? He's a bit of a battered soul. Yeah, uh, so I don't want to get Oxford on you, but yeah, the dick man. Basically, his job is to make the person that's trying to get with the girl look really good. So, Doug, you want to give us an example? Oh, he's just say insults. Really, he insults the woman, and the other guy jumps in to save it. So I'd say something like, "You're not looking so good tonight." Oh, that's a bit mean, Steph. I think you look lovely. Ah, there we go. Oh, oh, smooth. And his hey. ears guys are really nice guys. Right. Yeah. I mean, obviously, I'm joking, but uh, <laughs> no snap. Uh, Try not to stage me. No, I'm, uh, I'm kidding. Yeah. Just uh, no. How cool is that Ryan's version of like uh, of gay movies? Yeah. How did? How did? How did what, what was that? Gay, gay movies. Is that, Who is knew? That, how good would I, Titanic be? <laughs> Iceberg. That's nuts. No, I'm kidding. All those, all those flaming gays. The ass yeah. would stand a chance. Uh, but anyway, then we got the second person. Okay, the second person is the talk man. Yeah. And the talk man's job is to talk up. The, the person that's trying to get with the girl. Mm. Okay. It's not always easy. It's not always, it's not easy. always like, easy. Like I'd say something about Colin would be next to the girl and she might overhear me saying, oh, Colin, you bench press like 150 kilos, which is a coincidence, you know? It's a similar number to the amount of uh, sponsor kids you have. Wasn't it, wasn't it just last week you ran into a burning building to <laughs> save someone's cat? <laughs> you are <laughs> the man. <laughs> wow! It might just be something they over here, something like that, something small. Uh, and that's just downplaying it. That is yeah. downplaying it. You want to see him at 100%, Steve. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you'll, be, so... you'll be lucky to keep your clothes on. Uh, and what a wingman! Yeah. What a wingman! And type three is the hero man. Also well, known as Archangel. Archangel. Uh, his lab. job is to just 
start shit so you can come in mm. and look as the hero, whether it's a drunk guy, a sleazy guy, Jesse. <laughs> uh, Which is the two combined. <laughs> all over it. Let's yeah. just say like he's the Power what? Ranger. <laughs> You're the pink one. Sleazy guy. <laughs> Sleazy guy. <laughs> no, <laughs> Maybe on the gay remake, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sleazy guy, we hit a battle Voltron or something. That's a horrible rendition. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ryan, wherever you are. Um, no, it's a Friday. He's probably at Connections. Uh, he's what all, what all wingmen strive to be. He's, the, all, he's the last. That's the hero, man. He's the hero, man. The best. He's the best. So, you know, if I was coming on... Well, what would we say? So I was trying to hit on Steph, you know, I'd be saying something like, you look nice, getting too close, too personal. Too personal. And well, he sees man, it. Back off. You need to, you need to cool down. Mm, I need to grab a drink. <laughs> and you can't get that funk out of here. That, sh well, that shit don't fly. That shit, well, thank you, boys. You've been informative as usual. Yeah, and like we say every week. <laughs> um... <laughs> yes, uh, make that's sure, awesome. Make sure, make sure she's awake. Oh, no. <laughs> You're nothing. Be Safety creative. first, Be then creative. teamwork. Safety then first, yeah. Also, you can email in at any point if you'd like some awesome advice awesome, from these guys. Awesome uh, we have a quick email. Um, it's, well, it's long. Urgent, Jesse Reed to... Oh. Steph, we love you, hot dress. We're all sitting here watching you because we have no lives and Annie is having a golden daytime by herself. Exclamation Steph, point! Steph. <laughs> Thank so you thanks. guys. I, I have a even. fairly good idea of who that was. Mm. <laughs> well, we'll move on to our gig guide. Now, last week um, we were discussing the circus, and there was a comment made that the circus abuses animals. Yeah. And obviously that's not true. No. It doesn't abuse animals. <laughs> doesn't at all. abuse animals. And to um, prove it. Han said it, and the show is actually a little bit PG this week. Oh, PG this. this week without oh, him. Oh, and so look oh. at Jesse not being abused as an animal. Woo! <laughs> ah. Yeah! I, mean, I just kicked you in the head, by the way. Yeah, yeah, no, that's alright. It's part of the fun. So the circus doesn't abuse animals is our main point, and we apologise to anyone that was offended by that comment. <laughs> yep. Moving on to our gig guide for this week. Gig guide for this week. Our PG gig guide. Mm -hmm. First up, we had the Polka Dot Vintage Market, which is on Saturday, Sunday at the Claremont Showgrounds. So you can go and get some vintage clothing. They have everything from 50s to 90s grunge. Kitchen to, wear. Yep, so you can stop stealing your sister's jeans. Grockery. <laughs> Hi. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Got me there. <laughs> Pretty much. They fit me really well. Okay? I don't, I don't know who that's worst for. <laughs> um, next up, next we up have? we have a Barbagello Polo in the Valley, which I was very excited for because my complete knowledge of polo is from Pretty Woman, and apparently they actually do the thing where they like flick over the divots and Dolph stop on them horse. back in. Dolph on yeah. horseback. Except I assume I don't need to be a hooker with a heart of gold to go. Otherwise, <laughs> I'm going to have a busy day. Awesome so that's a reference, Steph. <laughs> next up. Uh, next up is you. Is me. Uh, West Coast Blues and Roots Festival is on uh, this weekend. Heaps of guys playing Bob Dylan, Michael Franti and Spearhead. Elvis Costello and the Imposters. Um, it's down in Rio. And yeah. tickets are 139 bucks. Yes, yes. And I believe it's not sold out. Get your tickets Lucky. Soon. Yeah. <laughs> Lucky for that. <laughs> Next up is uh, The Waffle on Sunday. Yes. Actually, Steph's brother's playing. Yay. So go down and say, hey. Go, Tom. Tom. Tommy Tom. Lee. Tommy Lee. Oh, yeah. Kick the goal. <laughs> Woo. And our final one, which is a recur recurring event that happens at the George every week. They have high tea on Saturdays and Sundays. So you can go and have tea. Jesse, I know you would love oh, this. Oh, Earl Grey. Uh, Earl Grey. And you get to drink like this. And a scone. Yeah. Pinky Alice up. in Wonderland always style. Always pinky up. Yes. Always get a punch in the face. It's the way we Always do it. trying to man up tea. Right. <laughs> so that's the gig guide for this week. So um, check all of that out. And now we are going over to Aaron at Carnegie. Hey guys, welcome back to Carnegie's. Kind of felt you didn't leave. Kind of short. Now talking about short people, you should never say short to women. So I'm not going to say that. But you guys are petite, like many petite people. Have you had a petite week? Uh, yeah, I guess so. You don't look happy, Ruby. What's wrong? <laughs> I got up at like five. So this is like the, the, I guess not a petite day for me. Yeah, no. It's been a long day. Yeah. Want to talk about it? Anything you want to get off your chest? I, you shouldn't even say that to a girl either. I'm looking in your eyes. I'm looking in your eyes. I'm going to skip you for a second. Esther, what do you want to talk about? I don't even know where to start. Actually, you, you, life's good. Life's great? It's great, yep. When I walked in, you actually looked a little bit stressed. Are you still stressed? No, not stressed anymore. How, how could you be? 
be stressed at Carnegie? You can't be stressed at Carnegie's, because we're going to get some cocktails later, yeah? What do you reckon? Oh, yeah. We'll get some short cocktails to help our short day. Petite, petite. Yeah, maybe a Long Island iced tea. Okay, you want to say hello to anyone really quickly before we go? Tell some guys to come down to Carnegie, or tell some girls. <laughs> tell some girls. Tell some guys, because I'm totally gay. Oi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really, Mum. Sorry. Okay, we're going to leave, go back to the studio, and we'll find out exactly. I'm going to counsel these girls and find out exactly what happened. Back to you guys now. Steph, a question for you. What has your week been like, and what does short mean to you? There you go. Well, what has my week been like? It, my week hasn't been short. So no? <laughs> that's probably what short means to me. Yeah, How do you no. feel about midgets? Midgets? They're okay. I, I like have a feeling short we're going to be apologising about this. Yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> So let's just steer clear of everything. And apologies for running a bit over time, I believe, at the moment, and to anyone waiting for the movie. The big, the big seal deal. coming up next, so keep waiting. I promise we'll stop talking soon. <laughs> oh, and then you come to me, who is the most talking person on the planet. The no big deal. What an Hi, awesome guys. Thank you. We talked about short people and talking really fast. Yes. I can talk really fast, so keep up. This week on Movies and Music, let's start starting with some awesome music. This girl is my hottest new thing on the planet. And she's nine, nothing weird, nothing sus. Uh, Willow Smith is one of the coolest people on the planet. She's nine years old. You might remember from whipping your hair back and forth. Oh, yeah. This is a brand new song. It's called 21st Century Girl. It was shot in the deserts in California. And look, being the daughter of Will Smith and Jada Pickett Smith, you know that she's going to have a lot of talent, don't you? Like, <laughs> There's some rhythm looks, in there. And looks, unfortunately, those ears. But other than that, it's fine. Her brother Jaden has just been on the tour with Justin Bieber. You know my thoughts on Bieber from last love week. Him. Oh, we love him dearly in the Especially in girl. 3D. In 3D, where he comes at you like a scary movie. Ready? Oh, oh segways! Oh, my segways around here. Uh, movie of the week this week is uh, one of my favourite trilogies or... Uh, quadrilogy. 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 Thank you. I'm the word for the fourth movie in the, uh, in the, in the series. series. Yeah. Uh, obviously, Scream started uh, like 97 yeah. and it had, you know, Courtney Cox before she was anyone famous, anyone yeah. big. She was just the lady from either. Friends who wanted to do it, scare things. Uh, the movie comes out, uh, came out this week and I've seen it and I know who the killer is. I'm not going to tell you, but it is awesome, the movie trilogy. <laughs> Let's check out the trailer. Let's check out the trailer. What do you want? Who is this? He's trying to do ghost face. I'm standing in the closet. Liar. There's a killer out there patterning his murders after the original movie. It's time for someone new to die. The unexpected is the new cliche, and virgins can die now. Does that mean that I'm not going to live as long as these two? Clearly. <laughs> so, uh, Scream It is awesome. Uh, all the characters are back in it. I love it. I was loving it because every time they introduce a new character into the show, you pretty much know that they're dead. So, yeah. <laughs> See, now, I know someone that you went to the movie with, and I heard that every time someone was about to get killed, you, you pipe up with, Oh, she's going to die. <laughs> and sure enough, I was right. Yeah, so, they did well die. Done. Well so done. Well done, me, for guy. being. Yeah, because no, it wasn't just me. That person should go to hell, and I will talk to him about that later. <laughs> now, uh, seeing this trailer here has reminded me of our favourite segment of the week Celebrity <gasps> of the Week. Jazz Hands, yeah. Jesse, you're going to do it. <laughs> Aiden Panettiere, uh, who was in that movie in Soon Scream 4, she used to be in Heroes. Hot. Oh. She was Save the Cheerleader, Save the World. Now, yeah. uh, Hayden was on Alan during the week and discussed her new boyfriend. Her new boyfriend is Vladimir Klikoshk, and he is the world boxing heavyweight champion of the world. Now, he is 6'5. Yeah. She is 5'2. There's 40 Ooh. centimeters different in their relationship, and let's just say, Awkward. And being awkward. a boxer, he's not light either. He's no, not, no, he's not a Literally, tall, she's guy. literally picked up and done whatever. Anyway, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, here. and moving on. Uh, thanks for having me. Uh, remember Draft's number one, sing number one album of the week? We picked it last week, didn't we? Yeah. We did. We did. We picked we did. it. We're very smart. Thank you for being on the show, oh. Paul. Thank you, Paul. Now, uh, for the last time this evening, we're going to be crossing live to Aaron down at Carnegie's. How are you going, Aaron? Hey, Jesse, how are you? <laughs> yeah, good, man. Very we are well. having an absolute ball down here. 
<laughs> We're having a ball. It's getting quite uh, packed down here. We're trying to find a couple of uh, people in short dresses, and there happens to be a heap of people in short dresses. <laughs> now, we've been having to show off our embarrassing dance moves. Can you show us some of yours? I don't have any embarrassing dance moves, and most of my dance moves are copyright, but I can show you a few. I've got one called the Funky Chicken. Do you want to see that one? Yes. <laughs> and I've got another one which uh, works really well. Really think, the red sea, it's called the disabled man. <laughs> I think Steph might have to come down and uh, give you a few lessons, mate. You're going to be coming back here for a drink after? Uh, look, take a look around. Do you think I'm coming back for a drink? <laughs> um, actually, they've been here really good here. They've given us some water to drink, which is fantastic. Before you go, though, I've got to tell you that on Wednesday nights down here at Carnegie's, they have um, cheap uh, cocktail night. Not in the sense that the cocktails are cheap. They're just really inexpensive. And tonight they've got the $8.50 pints. So get down here and drink with me. You guys should come here. I think we might have we to. We might have to, yeah. Yeah. What's your best dance you move, Steph? Uh, see, Jesse, I, imagine me and you good. tonight doing the disabled man. The yeah, disabled actually, man. yeah. I'm pretty good that, at disabled that, man. That I might take a few one. drinks and actually get disabled. <laughs> <laughs> It's a good move. It's going to go off now. I don't know where we are next week, guys, because apparently they're not open here next week. No, yeah, no, we're not. Yes. And because it is, it is a super Good Friday. Super secret location. Yeah, it is a super secret location. Even we don't know where it is. So <laughs> uh, we'll find out Allegedly next week. Allegedly, we'll go into Simon's house. Yeah, uh, Simon, yeah, our director. Yeah, I think our director's house. house. He's putting on drinks too, I hear. <laughs> That's what I've heard. Tibor, thanks for that. Appreciate it. Appreciate the love. I feel I caught the love just now. Thanks, Tibor. Yeah. Anyway, guys, we've got to go because there's a, a, a few people want to learn how to do the disabled man. <laughs> well, thank you very much, Aaron. We'll see you, mate. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next week at the, at the secret location. Ooh. Indeed, yes. indeed. <laughs> uh, so, yes, that um, is unfortunately... Yes, uh, slightly over time, but it is the end of the show. Aww. Aww. <laughs> Thank you, audience, yeah. <laughs> but, um, yes, uh, you can join us back here next week. We'll be having a super special Easter Good Friday show. Yes, yes. we're working. Yes, Good Friday. yes, we are. We'll, we'll be here and nothing's open, so you have no excuse for not watching. Exactly. <laughs> so, yes, a very special show next week. Uh, you can email us on the show if you've got any challenges or any, any advice. Any more embarrassing like stuff for Jesse to do. Yeah, yeah, embarrass <laughs> me some more. <laughs> Uh, yes, so the email is fnl at wtvperth.com.au. It was right. right. You yes. got it right. <laughs> uh, yes, you go, Jesse. Yeah. Uh, you can also uh, message us on our Facebook page, um, <laughs> which is, uh, I've, I've got no idea. It's at Friday Night Live at Facebook, so just type it into the search page and you'll find us there. Very exciting. And you can awesome. write stuff and it'll come up and it'll be very exciting. <laughs> okay, uh, now uh, to take us out, to play us out this evening, our lovely musical guest, Danny Stefanetti.
stop.